What matters about this macroscopic quantum tunneling winning the Nobel right. for Physics this year? Uh, this year's Nobel Prize winners did was experimentally confirm quantum tunneling and quantum behavior for like on the order of a billion individual mm. particles. John Clark became a professor at UC Berkeley. He was joined by Michel Devore, who was a postdoc in his lab, and Jean Martinez, who was a PhD student. And they start asking if they can create a superconducting electrical circuit with a Josephson junction that has this property, where billions of these Cooper pairs, 10 to the 9 um, particles, are acting like a single quantum particle, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Can we do this? Okay, so this is their setup, okay? This is actually a photo that's adapted from John Martinez's thesis. Oh, okay, okay. Imagine writing a PhD thesis, yeah. and then like a figure is like in the Nobel Committee's <laughs> cartoon. So you know? Le so legendary. On the left-hand side, you've got the power that's coming in, okay? And on the right-hand side, all the way over here, that's the Josephson Junction part. Mm -hmm. In the middle, you've got... Um, like copper in the middle. And this is the part I, I actually still don't understand is how they're, they're saying the copper is like shielding, but I like, I thought copper was electrically conductive. <laughs> they don't really go into it. And I didn't really have time to like figure out how. So if somebody in the comments Once who knows how this works, anyways, but somehow they're saying it's shielding. All right. So they, they, they make this thing, they put it inside of cryostat. And on the top, you see that little antenna there? Mm -hmm. That's a little microwave antenna. This is effectively the setup. You've got a power source, you've got the Josephson junction, and then you've got a microwave antenna that like kind of talks to it. Um, this was in the 1980s. So they, they waited, I guess, 40 years. To give it to them. To give it to them. Yeah, but in those 40 years, a lot of advancement has happened. I, I mean, I can imagine. Um, you might have heard of quantum computers. Yes. So this is a photo of IBM's quantum computer. The qubit, so the, the photo, what you're seeing is like the chandelier type design. That's because this whole thing is inside a dilution refrigerator right. that like gets you down to that temperature. Right. Right. So this, you got to get really cold. All these quantum systems have to look so bizarre. Yeah. It's is because it? it's the, the, the cooling apparatus yeah. is like half of it. Right. <laughs> um, but the, the qubit itself is the next photo that I have. And that is the um, transmom quantum qubit. The arrow that you're seeing, that little square in the middle, that's the Josephson junction. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. And the little like uh, radiator type things yes. on the on the right hand side of that. Yes. That's like a microwave cavity. Okay. That's being used to talk to Dude. the Josephson junction. So it's they basically miniaturized um, this work. The this work, right? And